there's good evidence that uh, doing strengthening exercises can increase muscle strength in young people with CP. So that's been something that people have also questioned at various times, the positive negative effects of it, but there's now strong evidence that they can increase the ability to generate muscle force by doing strengthening exercises. The main trial um, that we've done was a randomised controlled trial um, looking at progressive resistance training done in a community gymnasium twice a week for 12 weeks and compared that to usual care in a group of 48 young people with cerebral palsy. Training was, uh, was aiming, it was strengthening leg muscles and it was also we chose the exercises based on, we did it on clinical examination and instrumented gait analysis. So we tried to target the exercises, we individualised them to target them to try and improve the muscles which on uh, the experts thought were most likely to be beneficial for their walking. The main findings were that uh, our participants, compared to the people who didn't train, compared to the control group, people who did progressive resistance training got stronger. So their targeted muscles got 27% stronger. And, um, but there was no carryover into any objective measures of mobility. The other thing we did find though was that there were improvements in participant rated mobility. So there was this discrepancy between anything we measured objectively and what we found when we did participant rated measures. So a number of participant rated measures of mobility and also we did qualitative analysis when we asked them how they felt about the program and that, that was overwhelmingly positive. They told us they were walking better. It comes down to what the purpose of doing the strength training is. If the purpose is to try and improve mobility, then I think the evidence is pretty clearly that no, we shouldn't be recommending it routinely. But uh, it seems that it may have other benefits and so it could have psychosocial benefits. The participants definitely felt more confident about themselves and they felt better about themselves in doing this sort of exercise in a community gymnasium. And so that, um, it's this idea that about doing, um, does exercise for people with CP have to be therapy or would it be exercise like you and I would do? And so just as, you know, we would argue that it's perfectly, it's a really good thing for people with CP to go to the gym and do exercise, to be with their friends, to feel good about themselves. But they shouldn't expect that doing that helps them to walk better.